I am so excited for today's video because I got two packages of micro fidgets. So they're fidget toys, but super tiny micro size. I can barely contain my excitement. Let's get them open and check them out. So right away I was looking and there doesn't seem to be any pull tab for the plastic. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and open them. There's nothing like a cute unpackaging. So once you open them, it has like this white around it. It's just like paper. Reminds me of like a copy paper. Just rip that off. Okay. Now we pop off the lid. Oh, nope, there's more plastic. Let's see if I can get the plastic. Like little tape circles. Those are pretty easy to pull off. Now take two, pops right off. So you can always see one fidget on the top. On this one, it is a tiny little fidget cube. And it is so beautifully small. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the reason I'm sitting in front of my fidget toys, I actually don't usually film right in front of my fidget toys, and they're kind of messy because I am organizing them. I'm in the middle of organizing them. These are my new containers, and I love them so much. So I have more of them on the way so I can finish organizing the rest. But a lot of them are just in, you can't really see them, but they're not organized yet. It's like containers waiting to go in waiting to go into their drawers. But all that to say, it will be beautiful soon. And I have been filming the entire process because I've already taken like two days to get this much organization done. And probably about one more day of filming and organizing and my video will be ready to go. So there will be an organizing video. But the reason I'm filming in front of it is because I want to immediately be able to find the normal size fidget. So, fidget cube, let's find the normal fidget cube. Okay, so these are my normal fidget cubes right here. These are all the ones I have. This is a purple one, so I'm gonna find a purple normal fidget cube and let's compare them. Normal, micro. I love, oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy. This is so cute. It's so much smaller. Let's see how it functions. Tiny baby click. I'm so happy. Okay, that was amazing. Now, let's see what else we got. So, I have no idea what's under this packaging. I took off that. It looks like they come in their own individual little blue bags. And there's also a paper, so now I have a box. I'll probably save that box, I don't know what for. But yeah, cute little box. I will put it over there for now. So it's a sheet, so I know which ones I want to collect. These must be all of them. Let's dig right in. Uh, again, there's really no cute way to undo it, so I'm just gonna cut it. <sighs> the tiny, it's one singular silicone pop. Like it's just one little bubble. Okay, let's let's see how it does. Big sound. Tiny sound, big sound. <laughs> Love it. 
It's just one tiny singular pop. That's hilarious. Okay, so let's compare it to a normal one. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Look, micro pop it, normal pop it. And you know I could get crazy here because you know that I have gigant, I have literally three of the world's biggest pop. It's like one pink bubble and then a normal circle one. So cute. Now take three. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. I bet it's a squishy. Okay, so inside it's just a little squishy. Very micro, very small. Ooh. So this is like the same shape, how they're like laying down, but this is not a duck. This is a duck. So it's like we could compare them to the two ducks or we could compare them to the shape of it laying down. Which do you think is a better comparison? Duck to duck or laying down to laying down? I don't know but pretty cute. I love it. I have two left in this container. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, it's a bean pod. It has three beans. It literally has three beans. Okay, so it's a tiny bean pod and the little beans are inside of them. So this is a normal bean pod. This is the micro bean pod. So cute. Let's see if the micro one has no face. The micro one doesn't have a face, which is a fun part of the normal bean pods because their faces are so cute. But it actually works. Like it literally has a bean that pops out, not all the way out, but it kind of like, you can kind of see it. It kind of peeks out like a little peek. Peekaboo. Last one from this container. <gasps> it's a baby tangle. Oh my heavens. Oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. This is adorable. Now I need to see if I can find a tangle that matches this color scheme. All my tangles are like three colors. So I know I'm not gonna be able to find one that's just the two, but let's see how close we can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a hairy tangle. Um, this is for my summer mystery package that might work. Wait a second. <gasps> Wait a second. Let me keep looking just for a minute, but I think I already have a viable. Okay, we already have a couple options here. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. So we have this like, blue and yellow so i have this kind of green and green and yellow one i also have a blue white and yellow one and i have one of my my tangle pets and it is blue and yellow hmm okay not this one so i need to decide between these two okay I'm going to go with my Tangle Pet. I feel like it best matches this. This one, I feel like the yellow is a different color and the green is a different color. So I'm gonna put these ones back and I'm gonna go with this combination. Okay, look how cute. So this is like my normal Tangle and then this is my micro Tangle. It really is satisfying to play with. It is so sweet. That was the first container. It exceeded my expectations one quadrillion out of 10. I am so happy right now, but now I have one more to do. On the top, because on every container, you can always see one of them. On the top, I could see already that it was like a little square poppet. So it's funny because it's like a little square poppet, but it has a tiny little hand that I guess you can use to poke the bubbles because the bubbles are so small. So let's try it. <laughs> he just like slides around on the bubble. No sound at all. Like literally not even the tiniest of sound. Let's try this side. There we go. Very petite sound. Yeah, it's really tiny for your fingers. 
So let's try the good side again. Cute, it's up. I'm gonna put the little pointer. Okay, he stayed in that time. And I'm gonna see if I have like a blue square. This is the comparison, like a micro size right here and then like a normal size poppet. Let's see what else we get. This is when the real surprise comes in because they're in blind bags and I have no idea what they are. I'm gonna take this one out. I can already feel it. I can feel it inside the packaging and I bet it's a micro pop too. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's so tiny I can't even pull it. Tiny. And I will tell you that these are tinier than my micro pop tubes. So I was like the first person to come out with micro pop tubes. Let's do a big comparison, like a history lesson on pop tubes. Normal pop tubes, first ones to come out. Then I don't have a pink jumbo, but jumbo pop tubes were next. Super fun. So you can see how they're so much bigger, thicker, and they make a really like deep sound when you pull them. Then mini, like tiny ones. Okay, and then I was the first one who was like, micro, I love tiny, tiny, tiny things. And so I came up with the micro and put them in my shop and they were this tiny. So this was kind of like the progression of the pop tubes, if you can see. Well now, just play as ones even tinier than my micro ones. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're so tiny. But the thing is they're not really functional. So this is my one really easy to pull this one it's so tiny it like it gives when you push it so you can't you kind of have to grab the actual pop tube like here which means you can't fully extend it here there's like a nice handle and it's thick enough sturdy enough that it doesn't give when you pull it here i can't pull these sides they're not sturdy enough if that makes sense so to be able to actually use it, I have to hold the actual pop tube and pull and push in that way. Doesn't make quite a good sound, but it's so tiny and it's so cute. So this one's not really functional, but it's good for show. Also, I forgot to show you, we also have LED pop tubes. Every time you push the little button, it kind of changes the light. And super fun and functional. Let's see which one is next. I got another tangle and it's the exact same color. That's the one bad thing about blind bags. You literally don't know what you're getting. It's so exciting to get it for the first time, but then for me, at least for a second or a third time, I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't really want it a second time, but still really cute. I only have two left. I'm down to the last two. Mm, disappointment. It's another bean pod. Okay, I hope I don't have a duplicate for the last one because that would be like a really wah, wah, like way to end. <gasps> I didn't, but it's a fidget spinner and I hate fidget spinners. So this is a tiny micro fidget spinner. It's cute because it is so little. Now I actually already have a tiny, tiny micro fidget spinner here. I got this in a doll package. So like, you know, there's American, it's, it was an American girl, but you know the American girls size dolls, they had it in like, it was for that doll. And it was at Walmart, I think, or maybe Target. And it had this inside the school supply package. And I was like, I'm buying it just for the tiny fidget spinner. Let's compare them and see which one is smaller. Okay, it looks like, they're very similar sizes. They're really similar. The blue one's a little bit thicker, but honestly, they're so similar. Cute! So now I have two tiny, teeny, tiny micro size fidgets. What I'm going to do now is check off on the checklist which ones I have so that we know which ones I still need to get. So, bean pod, I have two of. Tangle, two of. I have the pink pop tube. I have the purple fidget spinner. I have the blue square. I have the cube. I don't have that weird fidget spinner looking thing. I don't have a wacky track. I don't even want that tiny mochi, but I don't have it anyway. I do have this mochi. I don't have that mochi. 
No slinky, but I don't even want the slinkies anyway. And I do have the pop tube. So the only one I don't have that I do want is a wacky track. <gasps> I was so close to getting everyone I want. Okay, so this is the collection. Some of them I'm not really interested in. The only one I really, really, really want now is this tiny wacky track. I have this, but it's not functional. Like, it's just like made tiny. I tried to make a micro wacky track a long time ago. It's not functional, it doesn't move. It's just like for aesthetic purposes. So I really want this tiny wacky track. Let me know, should I buy more of these containers and try to get the tiny wacky track or should I just be like, eh, what I have is good enough? Let me know in the comments what you think I should do because I really want this tiny wacky track. But I also don't wanna have to spend a lot of money to like buy a bunch of blind bags and maybe not get it anyway. <laughs> decisions, decisions, this is so hard. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do whatever the most comments suggest I do. So let me know. I'm going to be looking at the comments to see. Here is a close up of them. So in the video, I didn't find a big size fidget spinner, but I did just now. So this is a normal fidget spinner. This is a tiny micro size. It's incredible. I love it so much. And then I did show this is the tiny one compared to the big one. Tiny compared to big, tiny compared to normal, tiny compared to normal, tiny compared to normal. I am so happy. Tiny compared to normal, so cute, and tiny compared to normal. Let me know which one your favorite is. I love them all so much, but I think my favorite is this fidget cube. I just, it looks it's all functional because that's the thing like this one would be my favorite but it's not functional it's just cute to look at so i think this one's my favorite because it's truly functional and it's micro and this is my other favorite because it's functional and micro thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next video